All right, we got some good news. Good news for fans of Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 fans, rise up in the comments. Yes, we got good news. Ben Kingsley, you know, the Mandarin, or the Patsy for the Mandarin, or whatever they're gonna do with him in Shang-Chi, is officially returning for, well, Shang-Chi. Man, I buried that lead. Remember back in whatever year Iron Man 3 came out in at this point? I'm gonna say 2013, I could be wrong. I probably am, I don't care. Anyways, remember back in the day where the Twitter campaign that ran wild was make the Mandarin great again? That didn't actually happen. Because after Iron Man 3, we learned that everybody's favorite Marvel Comics villain was the Mandarin, and they didn't like what they did with him, which, you know, um, they kind of rectified that in the one shot that was attached with it, where by the end of it, we hear that the real Mandarin would like to speak with the fake Mandarin, played by Ben Kingsley. So we assumed, well, at some point, they're probably gonna explain what happens next. Well, they are, because Marvel Studios, as part of the red carpet event for Marvel Shang-Chi, has confirmed that, yes, Ben Kingsley was on the red carpet because he is in the film we are going to get an actual conclusion and resolution to his arc from iron man 3 and the explanation of what happens next and how he actually connects to the mandarin now i am really excited for this i've always wanted to see what they do next despite the fact that i like what they did in iron man 3 with aldrich killian at least the whole Ben Kingsley thing was like, uh, well, uh, kind of hated how they played it up as a stupid throwaway joke, but it made sense in the context of the rest of the film of what they were doing. But anyways, at least that's going to finally get fixed or further explained and adding more context to it, which to Marvel's credit, they've done this a couple times now in the MCU, gone back to something that wasn't very well received or underdeveloped and explained it a little bit further and added some context to it where you go back and look at it, you're like, Okay, now now I see it. Now I see what they were going for, but they weren't because it's retroactively made more relevant. It doesn't matter, though. I'm excited by this. I think Kingsley is a great actor. I'm excited to see what they do here. I'm excited to see what his role is and, you know, how does the whole Mandarin thing involve this character from so many years ago at this point and where has he been? Like, you know... Like, it's been, like, what, a decade plus in the MCU timeline that he's been busted out of the prison, and what's he been doing? Has he just been jailed by the Mandarin? Like, man, that's kind of rough. But I suppose we'll know soon. Uh, I guess most people should be excited by this. I'm gonna assume... It's not safe to assume anything, because people will always be disappointed by something. But, we can all agree on something. Iron Man 3 was good. Yup, I still like it.